Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the members of the Lake Guardians trio, namely Uxie, the Knowledge Pokémon, Mesprit, the Emotion Pokémon, and Azelf, the Willpower Pokémon. Regarded as some of the most important legendary Pokémon in terms of their history with the world, the members of the Lake Guardians trio are powerful creatures that can more than help to represent the forces of the mind that keep life moving forward every single day. Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf share a similar base body form, with long grey bodies, limbs that have no digits on their feet and only two small ones on their hands, and a pair of grey tails with spiked outer edges at the end and a large red gem in the center of each tail end. Uxie has a distinct yellow head and face that curls up and over the back of its head in a series of soft ridges, with its forehead being adorned with a large central red gem and its yellow eyes almost always closed, using its psychokinetic power to see and read the knowledge of others instead. Mesprit has a pink head instead, with a series of four pink tubular extensions that drape over the sides of its head from the top of its head, additionally having a large red gem on its forehead as well as bright yellow eyes that can clearly see the emotions of anyone that is within their field of vision. Azelf has a blue head that comes to a point at the top of its head's form and extends downward into a pair of unseparated crests on either side of its head, still sporting a large red gem on its forehead and large yellow eyes that it uses to control the willpower of others. According to Sinnoh mythology, the members of the Lake Guardians trio are some of the most important of all Pokémon as they are the creatures responsible for giving true mind and heart to the organisms on the planet that first arose with the complex minds needed to harness their power. It is said that these creatures were created shortly after the birth of the Creation trio, but the sheer power contained in the egg they were born in would have created a being far too powerful to control. To rectify this, Arceus willed the egg that contained them to split the being inside into a trio of smaller beasts, giving rise to the Lake Guardians as we know them. This split means that individually, they are far weaker than the monsters that preceded them, but this does little to change the fact that they are the beings responsible for giving life, personality, and the ability to use complex thinking to develop and improve their lives. This split in power means that these creatures are a step below that of Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, but this does not take away from what they have managed to do for life on the planet with their power, especially since they can fly using their psychic power and all exclusively possess the levitate ability. And while they are almost never seen, they are often seen in the three lakes of the Sinnoh region, which is said to be their favorite dwelling places in the world, even if they have been spotted across the planet by various cultures. This is also fortunate, as it makes them the only legendaries of the first few ever created by Arceus that regularly interact with humans by comparison, and are quite friendly, making them easy to get along with and befriend, so long as one does not force them to use their true power to defend themselves. Known as the being of knowledge, Uxie is said to be the creature that gave complex life the ability to use information and knowledge in order to solve problems as it flew over everyone and thus moved past the simple life of merely existing and going with whatever happens in their lives. This special power is what has allowed intelligent beings to arise on the planet and the rise of civilization across the entirety of human history, and thus is incredibly valuable to all that partake in it. This incredible attribute is translated directly into its powers, as this creature can gift anyone they come across with the knowledge from around the world and even beyond, but it is advised that caution be taken when near this creature regardless. While it is generally quite benevolent towards others, Uxie must keep its eyes closed at all times in order to prevent its overwhelming power from spilling out. If someone dares to force them to open their eyes, Uxi will use its true power to completely wipe away the memories of those that wish it harm, leaving them clueless as to what to do with themselves or even who they are, if not more. This is more of a defensive measure than anything else though, as its entity is usually quite benign and does not try to bother anyone directly, and this defensive nature is directly represented in its overall combat abilities. Uxi does not gain access to many attacks that it can use to deal direct damage with, and its overall offensive powers and stamina are quite limited so its base HP, attack, and special attack stats are below average for a fully evolved psychic type Pokemon. On the other hand, its body, especially its head, is covered in a dense layer of skin and muscle tissue that allows this beast to take damage fairly well without limiting its considerable mobility, so its base defense, special defense, and speed stats are all above average for a fully evolved Pokemon of its type, helping to make this sprightly creature a powerful wall worth taking note of in any sort of direct confrontation. Second, known as the being of emotion, Mesprit is said to be the creature that gave complex life the ability to experience and value emotions as it flew over everyone and thus moved past the simple life of merely existing and going with whatever happens in their lives without feeling anything good or bad about it. This special power is what has allowed intelligent beings to rise on the planet and the rise of civilizations across the entirety of human history and thus is incredibly valuable to all those that partake in it. 
This incredible attribute is translated directly into its powers, as this creature can gift anyone it comes across with the emotions of the world, to see and feel what others feel, and it is the only member of the trio that tends to slumber at the bottom of lakes and let its spirit fly around to skitter across the surface of the lakes it dwells in and survey the world safely from afar. But it is advised that caution be taken when near this creature regardless. While it is generally quite benevolent towards others, Mesprit can still be angered if it feels that some are trying to hurt others physically and especially emotionally, and will take drastic action to keep this from happening to others. If someone dares to cross its moral boundaries in such a way, Mesprit will use its true power to completely wipe away the emotions of those that wish it or others harm, leaving them hollow on the inside and unable to ever feel anything in their mind ever again. This is both a defensive and offensive measure, as Mesprit will use it to both defend itself and to prevent others from hurting anyone else ever like that again and this dual nature is directly represented in its overall combat abilities. Mesprit does not get access to many attacks they can use to deal direct damage with, but it can still make decent use of those moves to deal considerable damage in battle while taking it fairly well too in even measures, and while it might not be as fast or as powerful as its contemporaries in its stats, with its base HP, special attack, and speed stats being below average for a fully evolved psychic type Pokemon, its base attack, defense, and special defense stats are still above average, so it can deliver a good hit and keep on going through just about any type of opponent it comes across minus the occasional dark type. Thirdly, known as the being of willpower, Azelf is said to be the creature that gave complex life the ability to use willpower to create determination and fight back against the difficulties of life, forging forward into the future on its own path as Azelf flew over everyone and thus moved past the simple life of merely existing and going with whatever happens in their lives. This special power is what has allowed intelligent beings to arise on the planet and the rise of civilizations across the entirety of human history, and thus is incredibly valuable to all those that partake in it. This incredible attribute is translated directly into its powers, as this creature can gift anyone that it comes across with the willpower to accomplish any task that they put themselves to. But it is advised that caution be taken when near this creature regardless. While it is generally quite benevolent towards others, Azelf can be quite aggressive if it is perturbed and will take no chances on its safety if it feels that it must fight back against others to secure its safety. If someone dares to cross it and awaken its aggressive nature completely, Azelf will use its true power to completely wipe away any sense of determination that is within a person, leaving them unwilling and unable to accomplish even the simplest of tasks in their life. This is more of an offensive measure than anything else, as Azelf is easily the most aggressive member of the Lake Guardian's trio, and this nature is directly represented in their overall combat abilities. Azelf gains access to more offensive damage dealing moves than the other two members of its trio, and its aggressive personality emphasizes its preference towards offense over defense, as its body is somewhat frail and its stamina not the best, resulting in its base HP, defense, and special defense stats being below average for a fully evolved psychic type Pokemon. However, it more than makes up for this with deceptively strong offensive stats and incredible agility to surpass that of the other members of its trio having above average base attack, special attack, and speed stats for a fully evolved Pokemon of its type, in turn making it a fairly powerful offensive fighter that can deal considerable damage to anything that dares to disturb it or get in its way. Lastly, it is noted that, although Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf are powerful, they only have enough collective energy to stop one of the members of the creation trio. If more than one was to cross over, the results would be catastrophic. Such events did in fact occur approximately 10 years ago through the actions of the notorious Team Galactic in the Sinnoh region. The leader of Team Galactic, an intelligent 27-year-old man at the time named Cyrus, despised the world around them because it was incomplete. In order to change it, he wished to create a world where he alone ruled without the painful emotions that riddled his mind from its childhood. In order to do that, in his eyes, he literally had to start from scratch. He had to use Dialga and Palkia to make a new world free of spirit. Capturing the three late guardians, Cyrus created a mysterious object known among some as the Red Chain. Though the artificial process he used in making the chain, as well as the second copy, is long gone, it apparently had the powers of Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf imbued within it. Their combined powers, when used in the right place, could potentially open a gateway between dimensions, allowing Dialga and Palkia to pass through. Perhaps not surprisingly, such a specific place existed at the ruins of an ancient temple in the Sinnoh region, known locally as Spear Pillar. While efforts were made to stop him by a young trainer, the Red Chains inevitably did their job and successfully summoned both Dialga and Palkia. With these two creatures in his presence, Cyrus was essentially invincible. Although the three late guardians attempted to stop Cyrus, their attempts were in vain. The power of the Red Chains was simply too much. It would have been a complete disaster if Cyrus had remembered another legend that was long forgotten. The one creature capable of stopping him, Giratina. 
Sensing that a disturbance within our world would have soon affect the distortion world catastrophically, Giratina took the liberty of appearing before Cyrus and dragged him into the distortion world. This broke the power of the Red Chains, allowing Dialga and Palkia to return to their respective dimensions. In the end, Cyrus was defeated within the distortion world by the same young trainer that had tried before to thwart his plan. Giratina was calmed and balance was restored within both worlds. To this very day, no other human has attempted to control Dialga and Palkia in such a way, and Cyrus remains MIA, lost within the distortion world. A gift from on high to all and the beings responsible for making life what it is today, or at least as it is said in legend. The members of the Late Guardians trio are powerful entities that can use their might of knowledge, emotion and willpower to subdue anything and everything that dares to enter into their domain on unfriendly terms. They might not be seen by most due to their elusive and secretive natures, but that only makes a rare encounter with one of these legendary creatures that much more exciting and valuable to even the most uninformed of travelers. If you are ever lucky enough to come across one of these legendary deities, do yourself a favor and pay them as much respect and homage as you possibly can. It certainly is a lot better than getting on their bad side, which may likely end up in you losing a critical part of what makes you who you are, never to reclaim that peace ever again. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.